what's up guys welcome back once again it is me malt so happy to be back here with you guys uh i was gone this weekend at a young life camp um and we are back now but here's a little clip i'm going to show you guys from camp this weekend of everybody going crazy it was absolutely nuts uh this was the biggest weekend camp in uh the carolina so here's a little clip of that just so you guys can see a little something that we do at young life So guys, that was just a quick clip of the club that we have. You have um, a couple of clubs during the weekend. If you go to weekend camp, I'm going again in December with all of my Young Life kids. I just did a uh, program and whatnot at this one. But um, if you guys have heard about it, definitely go check it out. That was awesome. Uh, you would love it, I promise you. Get some of your friends to go. If your friends have already invited you, then definitely go. But guys, look, we are up in Masters League and it's all from defenses right here. Like the last time that I attacked, so I attacked 20 hours ago and then a day ago, um, and I only got 17 trophies from those attacks and I lost 19 trophies. So <clears throat> as you can see, it's all from defense. Look at this, 23, 22, 18, negative 11, 17, 18, 20, negative 8, 24, 19, 24, 19 all of that so I showed you all this the other day, but there have been a couple more um, I'm actually Surprised at how well I'm defending against balloonian, but again this person did have um, I would have taken a little bit more balloons. I'm trying to think of how many I do. I think I do 24 uh, Or 28 something like that so he didn't have enough balloons That's probably why he lost but let's go ahead and watch some of these replays because I'm interested to see. And we also have one of us losing to Barch. So a bunch of people are Barching us right now. They're not even getting that much loot. Um, but for some reason, they think that they are going to be able to just annihilate uh, my base. But the, there isn't enough outside. So there's only 30-something percent outside of the walls. We established that in the last video. It was like 34 percent. Um, so all of these defenses got me up to Masters League, which is awesome. You can see this guy. Uh, he's deploying pretty well. I would have deployed the majority of my troops by now, but uh, he did not deploy the majority of his troops. <laughs> it's actually, yeah, that's one of the things that caused a bunch of problems because you can see that army camp and that uh, gold storage are still, or that gold mine are still up there at the top. And that elixir storage on the side, if he deployed a little bit more heavier, then he would have gotten all those. So he's at 25% right now, um, and he hasn't used his lightning spells or anything like that. Um, he's still working in. He's bringing his archers in, however, in a bunch, which is dangerous because the mortars are going to annihilate those. So you want to do your best to just spread everything out because that way it really distracts the mortar and the wizard towers and things like that from doing a whole bunch of damage to you. So he's only got 35% right now. Um, he has his three lightning spells. He has his clan castle left. He already dropped his queen right there. And we can see that she is level 31. Wow, I didn't even realize that. So he's got a level 31 queen. Um, it looks like he just ends the battle. <laughs> I thought he used the lightning spell. So um, obviously the, the reason that he attacked was to get that dark elixir from my um, storage and the pumps uh, since I was gone and I wasn't able to collect. But I'm fine with that because I wanted to get back up here into Master's League for the loot bonus. Um... So that was that victory right there. And then we've got, let's see if we can get a close one. So this guy got 47%. That's a, uh, that would be a little bit stressful. I would be annoyed if I got 47% for sure. So he drops off all his barbarians. Good. He drops off his archers. Good. That's exactly how I would have done it up there in that corner. Um, and he does the same up towards the top of the base. He dropped his archers off a little bit delayed. But um, other than that, it's fine. There go a big, big spread of barbarians and archers. And um, obviously from the look of this and the fact that he gets 47%, I would agree with how, um, with how he attacked. Now, he does have all of his spells. I'm not sure if he, if he uses them. He should have used two of his lightning spells to take out one of my mortars uh, because there are three max mortars and they're just going to wreck his, his defenses. Um, so that's what he should have done with the spells. I'm not sure what he is going to do with them because he hasn't used them yet. <laughs> uh, he's got his queen, he's got his clan castle, he's got a couple archers and barbarians left over. Um, 
he's going to get 10 more percent because we already saw that in the thing. Actually, he's going to get 14 more percent. So I'm interested to see where it comes from uh, because he doesn't have really much melee left or really much DPS left at all besides what's in his clan castle. See, so now he takes out the mortar. If he'd done it at the beginning, then he would have uh, he would have been a little better off. Oh, that second lightning spell though. All right, so he wanted to take out both of them. He could have probably <laughs> he didn't get the wizard tower. Oh no, he really wanted to get rid of that. So he's going to drop off his queen up here. She's going to take out the rest of that elixir um, from that pump. Here go the rest of his barbarians and his archers. CV drops off his... So his clan castle looks like it only has archers in it, really. Uh, he hasn't used his wall breakers, which I probably would have dropped off uh, earlier. So 44%. There goes the, the bomb taking out the, uh, taking out the minions. He's at 47%, and his queen... <laughs> is attacking a wall back behind her. She probably could have shot that expo, but that still wouldn't have won it for her. Or she could have gone over to the wizard tower. So that's very interesting. Um, but 47% on that. So thank you, thank you for uh, attacking me with Barch and not doing so hot. So um, I'm going to go ahead and Barch and see if A, either I can find a base with good loot that I won't lose 26 trophies on so that I can stay up here in Masters. Or I'm going to find a base that I can get some more trophies on so that I can continue pushing maybe to Masters 2 and 1. So I'll be back with you guys in just a couple of seconds, all right? All right, guys, so we're going to attack this base. You can see he has a bunch of his buildings on the outside, which is perfect for barching. He's also not in a clan. You can see he is clanless up there at the top. So we're going to drop off our barbarians in a line and our archers in a line. Start taking out some of those buildings. Um, and then we're going to do the same from down here on the bottom. I'm... Come on, I misclicked on the left, so we didn't deploy uh, any of our barbarians over there. We're going to drop in the rest of our archers now, and we are already at 30%, working our way up even higher. We've got a bunch of troops in at the top, so you know what? I'm just going to attack heavy from up there. We'll go ahead and drop the king down with the rest of these troops. We're going to get in there, get that gold. Uh, we've already got the um, we've already got the star, so let's get up in here and um, see if we can rage up our king right now with all those other barbarians in here. See if we can get into the center, uh, maybe take out this expo and some of those uh, inferno towers, and then our queen should head in and get us a second star so that we can move on up. Uh, and we will use her ability right now just so that she takes out that town hall. There she goes. Um, come on, queen. Take it out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We should have saved it. No. All right, but watch this. <laughs> oh, yeah, lightning spells for the win. Come on. <laughs> All right, uh, so that was hilarious. I'm just going to go ahead and drop that archer down right there. Uh, we'll go ahead and end the battle. We were able to get that two-star. Okay, loot, uh, plus that bonus is awesome. 172 and 189. That is why I like being up here. Barch is super cheap. Definitely do it. Um, however, it does uh, take a toll on your heroes, but that's okay because if you have them boosted along with your... Uh, along with your barracks and whatnot, then you will do just, just fine. So we're going to keep on moving up. Uh, I'm probably going to be barging the whole time. Uh, we'll do some other clan war attacks and whatnot. We just won a war, so I'm going to be doing another video on that. Um, let me know if you guys like those clan war videos. It seems like you do. They get a bunch of views and likes and whatnot. Um, we just won another one, so I'm going to be doing a recap on that as well. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I just want to let you all know I am back up in Masters League, and it was all from defense all from defense, uh, and now we're going to barge and keep on going up. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below for me. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you want to see some of my other more popular videos, check it out right here. Thanks for watching again. Peace.